For days, Mount Etna has put up a spectacular pyrotechnics display. Carmelo Cavallaro is here before sunrise to get a closer look. We are at the northern end of Etna, at around 3,100 meters. Here, this crack is due to the eruption which is typical for Etna. The magma has risen to a very high level. At any moment, a new crater could open up or there could be an explosion without warning. Even so, Carmelo, one of 40 rangers at Mount Etna, leads us to the volcano. It's a tough climb in thin air and through ankle-deep volcanic ash. And there it is. With each explosion, the crater belches out glowing molten lava, strewing it around for hundreds of meters. The earth heaves and shakes. Only the rangers brave the volcanic activity to get closer. Tourists, however, have to keep away at a distance of 300 meters. These tourists have read the sign. Their excursion ends here. They have to turn around. But they can stay here and watch. But there are always some people who try to defy the warning signs. We're in the control room of the Institute of Volcanology in Catania. It's a high-tech nerve center to monitor the volcano. Two colleagues monitor the volcano around the clock. They're the first to know if the levels change. And then they can activate the emergency response. Dozens of cameras, sensors, and other measuring instruments constantly check Etna's volcanic activity. But despite all the technology, eruptions aren't always foreseeable. That's where the rangers come in. Depending on which seismograph goes off, the volcanologists send us out to the affected area to find out what's happening. And if it's necessary, like now, Mount Etna's summit is blocked off. Given how many tourists are ill-equipped for the region, the measure seems right. It's no easy task for the rangers. Every year, around 300,000 tourists come to the region around the summit. We have to remember this is still an active volcano. Of course, we need to guarantee the safety of the tourists. Mount Etna continues to baffle experts. No measuring instrument caught this latest eruption, and no one knows how long it will continue.